What's up everybody, welcome back to Nintendo Land, and we are now officially entering what feels like the Nintendo Direct weeks, as the next few weeks is probably prime time for a Direct to be announced and to pop off, and lots of the rumors and leaks are saying that it could very well happen any day now. So, of course, we gotta start talking about this Direct a little bit more and talking about what could actually happen, but today's not about being all super realistic. Instead, we're looking at what would be the perfect Direct if it all happened in a perfect way. What would be the things to make this a perfect Direct? This is not really about taking outlandish things that couldn't happen, but instead taking things that are plausible and putting them all together to make a perfect list. I'm not making anything super crazy here, all this could very well happen if Nintendo would just do it. So none of this is completely outlandish and it's just up to Nintendo to show us off an incredible show. So before we get started, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to stay up to date on all things Nintendo and make sure that you have notifications turned on so that when that Nintendo Direct does get announced, I can let you guys know and you guys can be here for a prediction video before the show starts and you can watch the show live with me but thank you guys so much for tuning in and let's get on to the video now of course since we don't have smash reveals anymore we can now talk about a beginning and ending of the show like normal and we're going to talk about the beginning here nintendo's going to start to show with something big but it's not going to be their biggest game until the end this is where we're going to see either the new xenoblade or fire emblem game this would be a great way to start it off and get people of that those franchises kind of you know their information they've been waiting for a while to hear about Xenoblade 3 or the next Fire Emblem uh, since 2017 and 2018 so they are going to get that to start to show it's going to be very interesting they're going to get a little bit of information um, and maybe it's going to get an end of year just kind of late 2022 release date or something um, or maybe not even until you know the year that follows but it's going to be the thing to start the show get people interested uh, from those you know types of franchises and that's how we're going to start the show I think Nintendo will definitely have a small Kirby talk for you know obviously the Forgotten Land uh, I think it's just going to be a little bit showing a couple of new things and maybe like one new copy ability and just kind of getting people excited for the game once again in a general basis because they did have that big second trailer already so there's really no need to have any other talk for the game but let's face it it's nintendo it's going to happen regardless so i think it's a good thing to have a little bit of talk like once again kirby forgotten land is coming out at the end of march uh, look at this and kirby can also do this in this game and maybe give us another small hint at a new character or something coming to the game um and that will get people kind of excited for next month also we know it's kirby's 30th anniversary so i think they should have a little bit of a celebration type of thing where they you know kind of announce all this kirby stuff in a like short segment of five minutes you're like Kirby in the Forgotten Lands coming out then you can also get this free Kirby game in the eShop and also you can do these free Kirby challenges in order to get Kirby rewards on my Nintendo and I think those things will happen it'll be a nice little thing to celebrate Kirby's 30th anniversary and like stay tuned for the rest of the year for more Kirby information and more things coming for his anniversary getting people kind of excited to celebrate Kirby now when I say smaller style of game these are still very big to fans but I think there's going to be a smaller type of an additional game whether it be like I heard there's a lot of rumors of some something akin to one two switch or a family game or something like that but i also think it could be one of these two being the metroid prime trilogy finally or zelda wind waker slash twilight princess ports announced i think one of these could very well happen i think it's small enough to say that this game could drop in like april or may or something like that you know in order to get us ready for the big summer and fall of this year and i think these games would be perfect i think we're actually a lot closer to metroid prime 4 than people think so i think it should be a great idea to start getting those games out give people time to beat them and also just have these Zelda games come out because Zelda's kind of felt a little quiet for a while and we don't know a hundred percent sure if you know the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild 2 is going to even be this year for sure um, and you know that's another thing is I don't think that's going to be here so this would be a great way to get people kind of still interested in Zelda as they wait patiently for the next game. I think it would be pretty cool if they had a big announcement in the middle of the Direct, and I think this is where we finally see this rumored Donkey Kong game from either the Odyssey team, whether it's going to be 3D or 2D, whatever it is, I think we finally see it here, and it's going to get announced a lot sooner than we think. This is definitely going to be a this year project, as next year I'm expecting to be the big 3D Mario game. But I think we get it announced finally, and this would be a good place to put it. I could also see it being at the very beginning, like Luigi's Mansion 3 was initially revealed, um, but a new Donkey Kong game is definitely going to happen probably, um, but I hope it actually happens at this Direct. I think an announcement here in a release date or at least a release window for this year would be a super exciting thing. Platoon 3 was announced almost exactly a year ago from when this Direct would take place, around the second week of February last year. And it would be amazing to get a official Nintendo Direct announcement for Splatoon. Yes, a Direct 
for Splatoon announced in this Nintendo Direct. They've done it multiple times with Animal Crossing and Splatoon 1 and 2 in the past. Smash Brothers, we've seen this over and over again, and I think they should definitely do it for Splatoon 3. They could also, you know, have everything announced there. You know, nothing really needs to be touched on here. I don't think Nintendo's going to touch on anything within this Direct, but Splatoon's going to get all of its inf information covered within this Direct. It's going to be exciting. They're going to announce it. The only thing is it might be a little too early. Normally, they do it like a month or two before the game drops, and I'm not expecting this game to drop until June. So, I don't know when they're going to announce it for, whether it be the end of February, March, maybe even April, but I think they are going to announce a Splatoon 3 Direct to get people ready. This would be a great way to say, oh, okay, I can, you know, tune in just for full amounts of Splatoon information that I don't get distracted with anything else about. So, that's what's going to happen. That would be great. This is exactly what Nintendo needs to do for that game. The Advanced Wars 1 Plus 2 Reboot is actually going to get a release date and a reveal again. Um, it's scheduled right now for spring, so they're definitely going to come in with a release date, show a little bit more of gameplay, and get people excited for that game. Of course, it's a legendary game coming back from the past, and this has got to be here, and it's going to be here. Now, this is one I feel like it could still be a perfect direct if this wasn't here, because we're going to get information about it regardless. It's coming out this year, which would be Mario Rabbid Sparks of Hope. I think there's a small chance we could get a little bit of a developer insight or something from Ubisoft and maybe some small talk about the game. Um, but I still think it's a little too early. I think that might come later on or it might even have its own direct too. Um, but we could get a small bit of information. I think that would be good to show people the new battle system because it is new. It's revamped. It's a completely different style of battle system. And uh, I think it's going to be very exciting because it's a completely different style of how to play this game. And I think we should learn a little bit more about that, the enemies, and more about the world that we are in. Now we are going to get some filler third party game announcements and some indie games now. I'm hoping there's some big ones, at least one or two big ones, like one big third party and one big indie game. We know that the Arkham Knights Batman games are apparently coming based on a leak um, that they kind of exposed their game coming to Switch. Um, so that's one big third party game, uh, but I think there needs to be a big indie game as well, like Silk Song that people have been begging for. But there is going to be a lot of filler, you know, it's going to happen. And it wouldn't be a perfect direct without the filler, right? Just as hope this is not a lot, you know, this is that's our perfect direct prediction right there. It's not a lot of filler. It's a little bit of filler and we're happy with it. So boom, that's my big prediction with that one. And uh, hopefully we don't have a long talk about all these games that probably not a lot of people care about. And finally, the very end of the direct. Now this has the potential to be perfect in so many different ways. I mean, literally there's probably like three or four things that would make this perfect uh, with an ending. And any of these could happen to be amazing. We could get a brand new Mario Kart announced. That would be huge. A brand new Mario game announced. It couldn't even release this year. Maybe it releases next year. Look at Splatoon 3. It got announced last year at the February Direct, and it's still not out. And it's not coming out until the summer of this year. So they could very well announce the next big Mario game, get people excited for it ahead of time. Um, or they could announce a Pikmin 4, some type of crazy huge game. Um, they could have another Zelda Breath of the Wild 2 trailer. I could see that happening to prepare for a big blowout at E3 this year. But I don't think Zelda's going to be here. And I don't think Zelda needs to be here right now. I think that game can still, you know, if it is coming at the end of this year, it can all be talked about at E3. We don't need anything yet. Let us wait a little while longer and we can get the information that we want later on. But I think this needs to be a huge, big new game, something akin to the levels of Smash Brothers, to be honest, because we need something big for the community to talk about and play again. And I think Mario Kart is it. Honestly, I think Mario Kart would be that perfect game for people to get excited about. And I think it could happen with rumors and leaks circulating around Mario Kart Crossroads, Mario Kart 9, Mario Kart 10, whatever it's going to be. I think it's time that we finally see this game. And that is my list of what would make this Nintendo Direct perfect, at least in my eyes. If I miss anything crazy or anything big or anything small that you guys think would also make this Direct perfect, feel free to put them in the description down below and kind of rearrange things in any order that you want. I want to see what makes this Direct perfect for you because, of course, this really depends on who is talking about it. You know, who's kind of making this Direct perfect in their eyes. So thank you so much for tuning in. This is probably going to happen very soon. I actually think there could be an announcement even tomorrow tomorrow, you know, or Wednesday of this week for a Wednesday or Thursday direct. So I think something's happening very soon. You could just feel the calm before the storm. It actually feels like Nintendo direct season and I can't wait to see what's in store for us. But thank you guys so much for tuning in. And like always, I'll see you all on the next one. And let's kind of cross our fingers for this Mario Kart game, <laughs> but see you guys.